Hey guys, today I will show you how to add another domain on MailCow so that you can use its mail server. This setup is a multi-domain setup. You have one mail server which is mail.webshanks.store this one and we will use this with multiple domains. Technically you are using one IP address with multiple email addresses. Okay, let's start. Uh, just go to email, click configuration, go to domains, click add domain. I will be using my one of my domains and I'll just click add domain and restart so go. And by the way, if you want to have limitation, you can add your limitation right here. Okay, great and now we'll just click DNS right here so now we will add this to our DNS provider which is Cloudflare I'll be going to Cloudflare just click add site and add our domain just click continue scroll down and just choose free click continue and just click continue click confirm and copy this one and paste it on your domain register I am using a name silo I'll just paste it here for name servers copy this one paste it here and I'll just click save and we'll wait for at least uh, 24 hours for the DNS to propagate and we'll get back to our Cloudflare once it's done I'll just click continue right here I'll just click finish later Okay, now let's start adding DNS for our new added domain. I'll just click DNS right here. And let's go to MailCow. First, we'll map our MX um, server, or rather a record. Okay, let's go to MX. Let's add a domain. It will be mail.webshanks.store, our mail host name and priority will be 10 just click save and we'll add C name add record let's locate C name let's paste this one copy this one paste it here we'll not use uh, proxy just uh, DNS only, click save, SRV, okay we'll just locate the SRV right here and that will be shape.pad.com, that will be the domain, okay we'll just need to copy underscore autodiscover, do not include this period paste it here we'll be using TCP uh, time to live is auto and priority is okay we since there is no priority we'll make it zero as well as wait then the port will be 443 443 and we'll copy this email host name paste it here click save then another C name. Just copy this one. It will be C name. Paste this one. And copy this one. Paste it here. We'll, we'll use DNS only. Click save. Okay, for the SPF and DMARC records, I have created. Um, a record for this so that you, you will just copy this one and paste it 
on your DNS provider. Just scroll down right here. Okay, so I'll just copy this one. And by the way, this is a short form of my IPv6. We will use the long form, this one. So I'll just create a text record. And I'll just copy our domain and the content will be okay I'll just copy this one first I'll change the IPv6 with this one this is the long form it will be okay, create this one. okay I'll just click Save next for the DMARC I'll just copy this one Add a text record again. Paste it here. We'll use our DMARC value or name rather. I'll just click save. And for the DKM, last but not the least, text record and copy this one. Click save. Okay, let's go back to mail call. Let's close this one. Let's click DNS again. Okay, we have managed to make it all uh, green. I'll just close this one. Okay, next we will need to add mailbox. Go to mailbox, add mailbox. So let's say hi. I'll choose first banner. Okay, I'll just copy this one. For um, for encryption policy, I'll just click both, and I'll just click add right here. Go to apps, click webmail. I'll just hi and paste the password here. Click login. Now we will send a test email to mail tester. Okay, let's go to mail tester. Copy this one. Okay, uh, let's. refresh it here okay we'll create a new message I'll use again this email template okay. paste the subject right here okay I'll just change this to Bruce and click send Okay, let's test our email. Okay, great, we have successfully got a 10 over 10 score. Now let's send to Gmail a test email. Okay, I just open a new tab for our Gmail. Let's go back to our webmail. We'll create a new email message. We'll send this to Gmail. Okay, web shanks. We'll use our template. And I'll just change this to Bruce. Just click send right here okay great we have received this directly to our inbox let's reply thanks Bruce for the invite I will be there 
Okay, let's go back to our webmail. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, this is me take a little while okay let's refresh great we have received the reply from our gmail okay that's it that's how you add another domain on mail call without new IP address okay so mail call allows multiple domain as email domain with one mail server and you can add multiple domains by, uh, by using the process I showed you just rinse and repeat and of course be sure to check your disk usage and your CPU and memory if you are adding multiple domains and I suggest you increase your memory to 6 gigabyte if you want to add more domains on your mail cow. So that's it. I hope you learned something new about mail cow. If you have any questions, just drop them on the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them all. And be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if this video helped you in any way. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.